In this video, we will learn how we can create LULC map in ArcGIS using unsupervised classification. Open a blank Arc map. Then we'll add our lens set images. For that, go to Add Data. Here, you add your lens set images. The band starting from band 1 to band 7. Click on Add. Once you have added all of these images, again we'll go to Add Data. And from there, we'll add the shape file of our study area. Once you have added the shape file of your study area, you can right click, go to properties, symbology, click on this color, make it hollow. If you want, you can increase the outline width, apply and then OK. Then after, you'll find an option of windows. In that, click on this image analysis. Now in image analysis, select all of these bands starting from band 1 to band 7. Select one band, then press shift plus control. At bottom, you'll find this option of composite bands. Just click on that. Now you can see here that our composite band raster has been generated. We'll just remove the unwanted layers. Then after, Right click on the composite band raster. Here, go to data, then export data. Give it some name. Also specify the folder where you want to save it. I'm writing it as unsupervised. Your format will be TIFF. Then click on save and press no. Allow the processing to get completed. Again press yes. Now I'll just untick this layer of composite B1. Then go to geoprocessing and open the Arc Toolbox. In the Arc Toolbox, you'll find the option of Special Analysis Tools. In that, Extraction and that, Extract by Mask. Double click on that. Input Raster will be our unsupervised.tiff and Feature Mask Data will be your Study Area shape file. You can save it to any folder of your choice and even rename it. Press OK. Once the processing will get completed, we'll get this type of extract.tiff raster. I'll just untick this unsupervised layer. Now, here you will find this option of classification. So, in classification, we will click on ISO cluster unsupervised classification. You will even find the same option in the Arc Toolbox, in the Special Analysis Tools, in Multivariate, we have the option of ISO cluster unsupervised classification. So now we'll just double click on this ISO cluster unsupervised classification. Here in the input raster bands, you will keep this extract TIFF1 and the number of classes will set it to 6. You can rename your raster, save it to any folder. All the other things will be same. Press OK. The processing has been completed. 
so the unsupervised classification is completed now we can use the imagery and we can rename this so here in add data you will find add base map in that you can use the imagery so that we can clearly identify where we have the houses that is the urban areas the barren land the vegetation agriculture untick all of the unnecessary layers I'll just first untick this extractive also zoom in to my areas and find where I have vegetation agriculture urban areas water bodies once you have got a clear picture you can rename this one two three four five six so here the greener portions are my vegetation now I'll just click on the color change the color to blue because that's my water body then for the two the blue color areas are my vegetation you can zoom in and check it again so here we are having some of the areas that's our vegetation click on the color and change the color I'm changing it to dark green then after this three it indicates agricultural areas so I'm changing it to light green let me just zoom out again I'll just untick this layer and check for the other areas now let me just tick this layer so here as you can see this area indicates my barren land so 6 is my barren land I'm changing the color to brown then we can right click go to properties here in symbology unique values just click on the value that is click on the label and we'll label it as first one will be the water body second one will be vegetation third one agriculture then four and five as I saw it is my urban areas so I'll just right click select the values then right click and click on group values renaming it as urban or built up and 6 is barren you can press apply and ok I'll just untick the layer of the base map so now as you can see our classification is completed I'll just change the color of this urban or built up to red I'll even change the barren land color now we can click on this extract f1 iso cluster unsupervised and you can rename it then i'll go to arc toolbox here in the conversion tools from raster raster to polygon double click on this raster to polygon 
the input raster will be this extract if one ISO cluster unsupervised field will be value you can change the output raster name if you want tick this checkbox of simplify polygons and then press ok we can even find the areas of all of these classes for that firstly let's see what's the cell size right click on this extractive one go to properties here in source just check the cell size it is 30 comma 30 so we'll have to multiply the count with 30 into 30 which means 900 again I'll just right click on this extractive one open attribute table click on this add field here give the name as areas in the type change it to text press ok now once this field is added here you will see the option of editor go to editing start editing then select this VAT extractive one and then press continue now select this area column right click and click on this field calculator here double click on this count option multiply it use the multiplication symbol multiply it with 900 because our cell size was 30 comma 30 and then we'll divide it by 10,000 we divided it by 10,000 because we want to find the area in hectares and one hectare is equal to 10,000 meter square now again you'll click on editor and save your edits we will check once whether we have got correct areas or not right now just close this in the arc toolbox go to special analysis tools here in zonal double click on tabulate area input raster will be extractive one ISO cluster unsupervised zone field will be value again input raster will be the same extractive fun you can rename if if you want and then press ok now as you can see here we have got a table now just right click on this table and open this table So once we'll open the table, you'll see the values are in meter square. These are the values of your area which are in meter square. Just divide it by 10,000. On dividing the first value by 10,000, we get the value as 54180.99. Again, I'll just right click on this and open attribute table. Here in the area, you will see this. We have got it as 5.54180.99, which is the same. So we have got the correct values. So this is how you can perform unsupervised classification and then you can create a map and also find the areas of the various classes. Thank you.